in bad taste. Hello. Hello there. Thank you. Mishka, don't test my patience, or so help me, I'll show you. Oh, Yurka, hello. What am I going to do with him when you leave for the city? We've got an educational process here. Yeah, I see. How are you doing? How's it going? Everything's fine, Valentina. What about your mom and dad? They're preparing. So you're leaving? When? Tomorrow. Today's the goodbye party. It's tomorrow already. Oh dear, time flies so fast. <sighs> All right, go for a walk. The weather is good. Yeah. Mishka! Mishka, come inside. It's time for dinner. Yurka, serve and don't worry. Without me at your side, you'll still have something to care about. I'll be waiting for you. Perhaps I'll come if I'm able to. Katya, you're really more worried than I am, for real. I'm not going to war, you know. I know there can be no war, but I've read that there was hazing. It's actually terrible. Katya, you're really like a child. <laughs> what hazing? Where would it come from when people only serve one year? After all, I'm more likely to haze other people. <laughs> We'll get married as soon as I'm back. <laughs> when do we come over? At six. Mishka, you're such a blockhead. How long will this go on? Stop this will help isn't your mom planning on getting married? <laughs> I thought Igorich was chasing her. No, she says there won't be anyone better than dad and she doesn't need anyone worse. It's a pity, she's still young and Mishka is growing up without a dad. Oh, that's what you're like, I see it. If something goes wrong with me, you'll get married straight away. Don't even think about that. Your family has teachers, mine has one woman men. So Katerina, you're in trouble. <laughs> Yorka, do us proud and protect the motherland. <laughs> Come on, go. Yurka, here's a task for you to do while serving. Bring me a good groom. There are only teenagers like you here. Am I supposed to stay unmarried until I'm old or what? Natasha, why don't you go to the army with me as a nurse? Perhaps you'd find a room there, <laughs> huh? Ah, yeah. uh, youngsters, you're all such insolent fellows. All right, Natasha, enough mocking him. Let's go Daddy, home. I don't want to go home. I'll go to the woods. Perhaps I'll meet the monster that lives there. At least it would love me. Bye. <laughs> All right, then. I'll go, too. Good luck, Tatiana. Sergei, don't worry. A year will pass in a heartbeat. You're not sending him to war, after all. You can come visit on the weekends. All right, goodbye. And good luck to you. Thank you, Valentina. It's gonna be all right. Don't worry. Valentina, come over after school. We'll talk. Mm -hmm. What is the talk about? It's girl talk. None of your business.
What is it? Can I walk you home? What? You don't want me to? All right, Igorich, walk with me. Who's forbidding it? It's along the way as it is. You're right. <laughs> Yurka will come back and bring a good daughter-in-law to the house. What daughter-in-law, Sergei? They're still kids. It will all change a hundred times. She'll leave for the university. He'll need to study, too. It's all stupid. Yurka, you know what I'm thinking? Listen, let's become husband and wife right now. So then we don't have to wait anymore. What are you saying? Yurka, you'll take my heart with you when you go. I love you very much. Katya, it's gonna be all right. Don't ruin this. I'm not gonna touch you, is that clear? Don't wait for me if you can't. But don't you want me? I know that all boys want it. Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid of anything. But this is, you're still young, you don't understand. What if you find a better man in the city when I leave? Then you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life. I don't want that. There's no one better than you, Yurka. You're the best man in the world. All the more reason. All right, Katya, let's get you home before we do anything stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's sit down before you go, hmm? Katya, I think it will be good for you in the dormitory. Of course, I don't know what type of neighbors you'll have there, but um, it's only for now, during the time of your exams. After that, you'll move in and make friends with someone. It'll be all right. Mother, why are you speaking as if I'm already admitted, hmm? Talking like this is going to jinx me. I'm so worried, and your assurances make me panic inside. Can't you say if you enter instead of when you enter? Katya, with a character like yours, you should really be a teacher and nothing else. Uh, let's check whether you've packed everything. What about your toiletries? All right. Shoes for damp weather. Did you pack those? Mm-hmm. Mother? That's enough. I'm not going to Moscow or Sorbonne. If I forget something, I'll just call you, and you'll send it to me. I wanted to give you more money. There's no need. I'll be in the dormitory. I have enough. It's a pity your dad can't see this. You're so much like him. Who knew it would happen like this? Mom, we really should be going, or I'll miss the bus. Let's get going. Morning. I'm here for the exams. Wait out in the hall. Do you have your certificate? Wow, with honors. Why not Moscow State University? Uh, oh, I see, a village. 
A district center. Shame on you. We are one of the best pedagogical universities of the country. Mm-hmm. Give me your passport and certificate. You need to go out and wait in the hall. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Are you applying here? Yeah. What department? Foreign languages. Wonderful. We'll be studying together. Well, I'm not admitted yet, and neither are you. Not many guys get rejected by a pedagogical university. We're as good as gold here. Priority candidates. Well, at least you could say that. Mm hmm Are you going to become a teacher? Fellow candidate? <laughs> no, I'm applying for Yale. I need to improve my language skills. Understood. Artem Rokotov. Katya Livashova. Come on, they're calling you. And you, by the way. All right now, just fill this out. Levashova, do you need a dormitory assignment? Yeah. <laughs> Fill out this application. Rogatov. Yeah. Don't you need an assignment? No, I don't need one. All right, you can go then. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Here's your exam sheet. And here's the dormitory assignment with the address. The consultation is tomorrow and the exam is the day after. Mm -hmm. All right. Your papers, don't lose them. Uh, do I keep my Why passport? Why would I need it? Your passport. Uh, I've already made copies, that's it. Right? All the best. Thank you. Good luck. Goodbye now. Oh my heavens. Wait up. Can I help you? This isn't quite right. My hands are empty and a girl is carrying a suitcase. Artem, I don't know where to go. Where is this address? Ah, don't ride the bus. The dormitory isn't far from here. It's one block. Let me walk you there. Let's go. Give me the suitcase. How do you like living away from civilization? Oh, it's wonderful. I don't like the countryside. Why so? When I was five, we went to see my grandfather. He kept bees in his yard, and one stung me right on the side of the face. Did it hurt? That's not the worst of it. I spent an hour and a half sitting on the porch, afraid to go in because I thought Mom wouldn't recognize me with a face like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You go into the consultation tomorrow. Of course. You know... All my family are so certain that I'll be admitted. They'll be terribly upset if I fail, though. Yeah, we all have to meet the expectations of our loved ones. All right, thank you for walking me. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. What was that? Come on, it's just a joke. Did you eat well?
Stop the push-ups. Stand up. Face right. Cadets, run! Hey there. How's it going? Hi. Still waiting. Have they posted? Look, they just started hanging it. Hello. Hello. Is it my name on the list? It's Barishev. Barishev. I'm shaking all over. Why are you shaking, honor student? They said there were only a few state-funded spots. Beneficiaries will take them. Grades won't help. So you'll enter the paid department, and then you'll transfer to a state-funded spot. You know, everyone has their own possibilities, Artem. Artem Rokotov, look at that! I'm admitted, guys! I'm a student! Yes! Cool, 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 cool. Larionov, Lebedeva, Ekaterina Levashova. My congratulations, Katya. You made it in. I can't find my I name. Come on, guys, look either. here. There's Anna Egorova, and there's also Pavel <laughs> Zorovlev. Here you are. Congratulations, <laughs> yeah. my fellow students! Let's go somewhere and celebrate this amazing event, huh? Let's go. Come on, then. No, thanks. Go without me. Oh, Katya, come on. We deserve it. My treat. Come on. No, I'm going home. Well, home it is then. As you wish. You can't find yourself? Let's have a look together. What's up, girl? <laughs> well, Hello. did you get accepted? Yeah, it's Department of Foreign Languages. Mmm, good job. Valentina's going to be happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and are there any beautiful boys at the university? Nope, didn't notice any. Look, you should come to my house. Sure, I'll come over. All right, bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Good job, Katya. Accept our heartiest congratulations yes. to you and your mom. It's a pity your dad can't see it. Oh, he would have been so glad. Study well, Katya. Thank you, Tatiana. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. I was terribly worried about it. It's all so difficult now. People do awful things nowadays and push someone down that they know. I was afraid Katya wouldn't get a state-funded spot. I don't have money to pay. Where would she go? Mom, to the farm? you're speaking about it as if it would be the end of the world. I'd have worked at the farm for a year and then I would have gone to school. Uh, speak about what the end of the world is and what it is not when you have kids of your own. Am I right, Tatiana? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> My heart aches so much for Yurka. Whenever I call, he says, Mom, I'm all right. He only answers yes or no. He never calls to complain about anything. Tatiana, he's a grown man. Is he going to run and complain to his mother if he's in trouble? We raised a fine young man. You should be glad. Katya, has he said anything to you at all? He's either been busy or he doesn't pick up. Oh, he'll pick up now. Oh, he Tatiana, <laughs> don't torture him. No, it's bedtime and the barracks and people are sleeping. If he is, he won't answer. <laughs> Hello, Mom. I'm fine. No, no, it's all right. What's that? Hoorah! Are you there at their home? Give her the phone, come on. Katya, you're such a smart girl. Congratulations. No, don't come. We're leaving tomorrow. For the fields. <laughs> How would I know? Yeah, I'll call you then. Love you too, bye.
Yerka. Yerka. Does your girlfriend have a good friend who'd call me? What? Go back to sleep. You see, we're living in the situation where the abnormally stable weather has been on Earth for 4,000 years. It has directly influenced the development of human civilization. Just think about it. Abnormally What's stable. What's up, guys? How are you? Hey, hi. <laughs> well, today we have a new attraction. What attraction? Come and follow me, and you'll find out. Let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, let's go. That's a great color. Oh, here it is. My mom gave it to me. Come on, guys, get in and let's go to the club to celebrate. Hey, you don't have to tell me twice. It's a cool car. And then jump on in. Come on, Miss Katya Levashova. Do you need a special invitation? Well, I just don't know. What don't you know, Katya? It'll make me happy. Let's go. Friends stick together through thick and thin. Wait, are we friends? Of course we are. Is there anybody else left? No, there's no one else. Magnificent. There's some hot women here tonight, right? I don't know. It's like yeah. so good. Ooh, what about that one over here? Hey, I like the way you move. Wow. Hey, Rokotov, I like this song. Don't you want to dance with me? No, Zana. I'm sorry, but I already have arranged one with Katya. Our American man has decided to hump the hillbilly girl. And you're jealous, aren't you? She's not much of a hillbilly, you know. She's good for her class. And you wouldn't refuse her either, I see. Don't test me, woman. That girl just plays hard to get. Do you know how they raise them in the village? You can only get her through the registry office. And I'm too young for marriage. All right, let's go dance. Yeah, let's go. All right, my friends, let's consider this party to be over now. Let's all get in and go home. You're not going to drive, are you? It's so nice that you care. Of course not. We'll call a taxi. Oh, and will you give me a ride to the dorm? Why well, go back to the dorm? My parents are out of the country. Come to my place. No, Artem, you go to your place and I'll go home. <laughs> but your home is in the village, Katya. The dorm's not your home. You're right, but I'm going back to the dorm. How long are you going to keep playing hard to get? I can see that you like me, and we get that you're not easy. Now let's go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rokotov, the car owner, crashes at birds. You're right when you said he'll only sleep with her after tying the knot. <laughs> what are you smiling at, you freak? Uh, everybody's having fun. I'm having fun, too. Having fun? Oh, all right, let's have some fun. I bet 20,000 that girl will be mine in 10 days. Sanich, will you seal the deal? Mm -hmm. Well, is it funny now? Well, making a bet isn't hard, but how will you prove you won? Take her to a gynecologist? Will photo and video do? Photo and video will do. Hmm? It'll do. Get in and let's get out of here. And you going to drive drunk? Then do it without me. I'll take a taxi. Goodbye, everyone. We'll get her drunk. Then you can do whatever you want to her. Yeah, and how would I get her drunk? I'll take care of that. Don't worry, I got it. All right, let's go. I've already been to Barcelona. The phrase indicates the present moment, and the period of time is not over yet. The speaker is still alive. Do you understand? I've been to Barcelona in general, no matter when. 
Oh, I'm just never gonna memorize all of this. You don't have to memorize it. You only need to understand it. <laughs> That's it. Hey, Katya, come on, let's talk. There's something to discuss. Come on, come on. Try it on your own. Present perfect indicates the result, not the time. The action took place at an indefinite moment in the past. What matters is the result, not the time. So Katya, my birthday is in two days. Come on, you have to be there. But Donna, there's a seminar I need to go to. Don't be a killjoy, you have to be there. The entire class is coming, come on. I'll be offended if you don't come. Are you still upset? Move past it. It happens to everyone. He got drunk, said something stupid, and got slapped in the face. All right, Donna, but I'll come with Allah. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. What do you want as a present? Mm, I don't know. Anything except for books and trinkets. I'll be racking my brain the entire year, thinking who to give them to. All right. No books or trinkets for you. <laughs> awesome. Now let's toast to us having everything and getting away with it. <laughs> Zana, where is everyone? That's them. Go open it. Good evening, my friends. Whoa, the latecomer gets a penalty drink. No, I'm not gonna drink anything tonight. Oh, nice, Rokotov, because it's not like we're celebrating anything. Let me level with you guys. I got drunk recently, and I was behaving like an absolute pig. I'm very ashamed. I've decided that I won't drink before Katya forgives me and drinks a peace cup with me. And that's what I have to say. He seems embarrassed about it. I mean, I don't know, I, I would just forgive him. Well, all right then, Artem. Consider yourself forgiven. And the peace cup? Yeah. Make up, make up, make up. Just, just drink, drink from, from the, the peace cup. cup. Make, make up, up, make up, make up. up. Just, just drink from the peace cup. cup. Make up, make up, make up. Just, just drink from the peace cup. cup. Bottoms up, 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 No, stop. I suggest we start the party. Woohoo! Start the video. Are you an idiot? It'll be obvious on the video that she's pissed drunk. I'll get a photo. Awesome, yeah? This is how we'll win the bet with her unconscious. I want to join you guys. Get me in a photo, too. That's a good idea. Let's organize a photo shoot for her. All right, Zana. Will you be the third? Screw you guys. I'm heterosexual. <laughs> Let's send it to Barashev. He's going to love it. Not instead, you better call Barashev. Let him come here and bring me the money.
Zana? Zana. Zana, what happened to me last night? <laughs> Hold on, don't you remember anything? Weird, you were pickled, but I thought you didn't drink. But I didn't, and I don't even remember anything. And my ears are ringing. It's terrible. What happened? How did I even end up in your bed? Look, it's all right. You got drunk and puked in the toilet. I found you there and put you to sleep. It's a good thing that my parents didn't come home. I'm sorry, Zana. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm so ashamed. Everybody saw that, did they? <laughs> well, nobody cared. Everyone got drunk and scattered around the flat. I got them sobered up and made them leave. But we had a really good time. Okay, so I'm going to the dorms. Can you give me something for my head? And please forgive me. It really was my first and last time drinking that much. Okay, but no dorms. We're late for the seminar. Here, take this. <sighs> Don't you have, like, a phone charger? Yurka's going to call me. The subscriber you're calling is currently unavailable. Hey guys, does anybody have a charger for this phone? My phone died. Hey Katya, do you want to repeat last night? You're a prick, Barishev. I have nothing to repeat with you except for irregular verbs. Well, some of the verbs were very irregular last night. <laughs> hey, listen, Katya. Hey, Katya. I blacked out. I don't remember how it happened. And Barishev uploaded this. Levashova, don't forget to hand in your bed sheets and towel. Foolish girl, where are you going? Who's making you leave? You have this paid until the end of the month. You can live here. Thank you, Serafima, but I can't. I don't want to stay here anymore. As you wish. I knew that they'd eat you alive here.
Hello, Yurka, it's Katya. No, I'm all right, I'm alive and well. No, I just want to tell you something. Don't wait for me on holidays, I'm not coming, okay? No, uh, you were right back then, that's all. I met someone much better. Goodbye, Yurka. That is about face. Quick march to the quarters. March. Maximov. Sir. Come here. Yes. Maximov, I can't recognize you lately. Whom do I have to rely on if not you? Tell me off the record what's going on with you. How can I help you? No, comrade senior lieutenant. Everything is fine. There are no problems. Yeah, I can see that. In a month, you go home for two days as an A student. Deal with whatever there is there. I don't need a suicide here. As for now, stop counting crows. Yes, sir. No counting crows. Comrade senior lieutenant. About face. Mm. Quick march to the corners. March. March. Hello, I'm calling about the ad. As a nurse. No, I don't have job experience, but I have a younger brother I used to babysit. I also studied at university. What did he want? He wanted my soul. And so, even he can see it too? You need something. Yurka, don't be stupid. I can see that your head is filled with something terrible. Come on, you can tell me. Are you a priest for me to confess to? Hey, screw you. I want to punch you. So hard. Get away from me. Leah, I'm sorry. What are you doing here? Accosting me? I've done nothing wrong. Leave me alone. I had travel documents. I just can't find them. But I'm a citizen, I swear. Your travel documents and passport? Your travel documents and passport. Hello there. Your travel documents and passport. Oh, passport, passport, yes. Um, I don't have a ticket. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. I, I just don't know where it is. I'm sorry. I'll have to detain you until you're identified. Uh, please, please don't. I just need a minute. It... It must be in my suitcase. Hold on. Oh, Masha, here you are. I've been running around the entire station. Are you going to see that goon again? How are you going to do that? I have your passport. Are you going to go without it? Let's go. I'm sorry. This is my sister. Come on, come on, come on. Sir, can I see your travel documents, please? My documents? Hmm. Huh? On the grounds of a terrorist threat, huh? Oh, just in case. All right, then. 
Look after your sister. Thank you. Hmm. All right, go home then. Before they start following you again. Let's go. Have you lost your documents? No, I put them in the suitcase in order not to lose them. Where do you want to go? I can't go anywhere. What do you mean? You don't look like a street girl. Don't cry in here, all right? Okay. You'll stay with me for a couple days to figure it out. Thank you so much. What's your name? My name? Your name? Uh, Katya. Nice to meet you, Katya. I'm Boris. Where are we going? Don't be afraid of me. Varvara Semyonova will give us hell. This will be scary. Prepare yourself. Come in. Boris, I just can't put her to sleep. She wanted to wait up for her well, daddy. Well, Semyonova, if you fail, there's no way I'd succeed. Why aren't you asleep? Come to me. Up we go. And there we are. Who's that girl? Uh, this is Katya. She's going to stay with us for a couple of days. Miss Semyonova, will you find a place for her? Of course I will. Hmm? All right. Do you want a fairy tale? I do. Let's go. I'll tell you a fairy tale. All right, let's go, Katya. You'll stay here with me for now. Don't you want to tell me something, Katya? Where did he bring you from and why? I don't know why. I just was at the station. A policeman was questioning me, and he... One thing on top of another. Brought you from the station, in a house with a baby. What were you doing at the station? I left the university, and... I'm afraid to go back home. My mom will be upset. And how will you earn a living now? I'm going to find a living job as a nanny or a maid, something. You don't seem like much of a nanny. But I am very good with children. I have a little brother I used to babysit, and I also studied at the university. Why did you leave it? I didn't... I didn't have enough money. I can see that. You didn't have enough money. What else can you do? I can do everything. Clean, cook, wash, iron, you name it. Well, washing is done by the machine. We've only had a washing machine for two years. Before that, we wash with our own hands. With your hands? Are you a savage? No. Our old machine broke down and we had no money for a new one. My dad's dead and my mother, she's a teacher. I see. Here's what I'll tell you. 
If something goes wrong, you'll shoot out of here like a rocket. And I'll check your passport. I'll see it and know if you just lied to me. Make yourself at home. with the running Katya. Boris took his daughter from his ex through the family court. But we've always been afraid that she'll attempt to steal her back, so keep your eyes peeled. Is that clear? I've just thought, what if she hired you to kidnap her? What are you saying? You can call the university. I will. I will. You watch the little girl. Go! <sighs> Marina? Hello. Yes, yes, it's Mom. Uh, don't worry like that. Of course I'll come. I promised you, therefore I'll be there. After all, it's my own grandson. Yeah. Marina, I want to ask you something. Uh, I'm not on good terms with the internet. Can you find the phone number of our pedagogical university, if you would? Yes. Yes, thank you. All my love to you. Bye now. Hello. Good afternoon. Is this administration? Can you tell me, please, is Ekaterina Levashova a student at your university? Well, this is her aunt. Your Majesty's wife, sire, last night was delivered of a fright. Neither son nor daughter have we seen its like before. What was different about it? It was just a regular boy, the king's son. They just decided to lie to the king so that he would get angry at his wife. But lying is a bad thing. Yes, it's a very bad thing. Oh. <clears throat> What's that for? I want another cookie. The cookies are all gone. And lying is very bad. I saw that there were more cookies. So what if there are? I won't give them to you. Well, will you give them to me? I want them too. The cookies are delicious. <laughs> well, it was Katya who made them. Katya, cook worse next time. Then they'll have to stop passing through the doorway like this. <laughs> Olya, go. Run into your bedroom. Gather your toys and wash your face. Katya already gathered all of the toys. Oh, here we go. You shouldn't have done that. She has to clean up after herself. Since she doesn't go to kindergarten, she has to learn to do everything on her own. Clean, read, write, and gather up her own toys. Is that clear? Can I leave tomorrow for a few hours? I think I found a job, and I need to do an interview for it. What job is that? Well, it's for a live-in maid in a cottage. I see. Uh, we'll decide tomorrow whether you'll go or whether you'll have to stay. Now I have a few things that I need to discuss something with Boris. Olya, mm -hmm. go wash up and go to bed. Go on, go on. Go on, quickly. Katya, please watch her if you don't mind. Of course. Yeah, that's what women are like. They break your heart. Did she really say she found a better guy? That's what she said. I'll bet he's rich. She's not like that. Yeah, right. They're not all like that when they're with you. It's good you didn't marry her. It would have hurt more.
Boris, I've warned you before. As soon as my marina gives birth, I'll leave. Have you found anyone? No, I haven't found anyone. I thought you'd change your mind, to be honest. Why would I change my mind, Boris? My daughter, a single mother, is giving birth. Listen, you really should look for someone else. How would I find someone? Well, take a closer look at the girl that you've saved from the police. Huh? She seems like a good kid. I checked her out. I called it university. She's not lying. She's telling the truth, I think. Why did you call the university? Boris, this naivete of yours is really surprising. Call the university? Of course I did. What if Elena sent her? No. It is necessary to check out such things. Do you think she'll manage? Well, I don't know that, Boris. I can't answer that question for her. You must decide. But I think about it. For sure. Mom, I swear that I'm all right. It's just that I was offered a job for the vacation and I took it. No, I'll come home just later. All right, I have to go. Have a great day, bye. Well, let's go home and eat dinner, shall we? Katya, Katya, please. Barbara Semenovna would let me walk a lot more than we did today. Do you remember how I told you that lying is a bad thing? Liars are bad people. Do you want to be in trouble? How did you know that I was telling a lie? Do you see that bird over there? She told me. Now you're telling a lie. <laughs> oh yeah, hello. Are you Katya? I'm Boris's assistant, Dimitri. Boris asked me to bring Olya to him. I took her from the house, so that's where I'm taking her. We can call Boris Anatolyevich. We are not calling anyone. Move and I'll shout. I'll call the police. That would be a mistake. I just want... Police, help! And she started shouting, police, police. <laughs> Did you really call to say she's crazy? Well, yeah. But I honestly didn't know. You did everything right. I'm proud of you. Mm. If he needs something, he can call and he'll warn you about it. Although I wouldn't let her go even with a call. Yeah, I... That's because a voice can be fake, Right, too. right, right, right. Oh, Miss Semenova. <clears throat> Best of luck. Best of luck. May your girl have an easy labor. May everything go smoothly. I'm grateful to you. For everything. I mean everything. We're, well, we're always glad to see you here. If you need any help, money, or, or anything else, feel free to contact me. Please, here's to you. Why aren't you drinking wine? Have some, it's light. I don't drink alcohol, never. Good thinking. What good is there in it? Nothing but craze. Good luck to you, dear Boris, and to you, young Katya. The taxi is coming. I'll go kiss Olya and grab my things. Katya, will you help me? Of course. <laughs> Hold on, Katya. Tell me the truth about why you left the university. I'm sorry, but I can't tell you, Varvara. You don't need to be scared mm. of me. I won't do any bad to Olya or to Boris. I'm not coming home because of my mother. She's so proud of me, you know? She's a teacher and everyone in the village respects her. If I come back out of the blue, everybody will give us a cold shoulder. I can't do that. I know you could call her, but I'm asking you, please don't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. But I don't understand why you are going to spend your entire life as someone's servant. What's next? I'll earn some money and I'll save it. And then... I'll go to Moscow. I'll enter university there and tell my mom that I transferred. My girl, I can see that there was. 
that something wrong happened between you and some guy. All right, that's none of my business. Uh, you know what? Don't leave Boris. For anyone else, at least. He did you good, you know. Remember that. And take a closer look at him as a prospective path. Huh? He's a fine man. All right, don't give me that look. Let's go. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm not looking at you. I'll make some tea and go to my room. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is Olya asleep? Yeah. Mm. Katya, tell me, why did you leave the university? I heard you teaching Olya. I thought that it was because of bad grades. Your knowledge of core subjects is pretty good, actually. There were personal reasons. Ah. Uh, hmm. I see. Mm. Uh, look, I've been thinking. Um, Olya's birthday is coming soon. I wanted to take her to Disneyland in Paris. But her mother lives there, and I'm concerned considering their laws. So what if we went to Thailand or the Dominican Republic for maybe 10 days or so, warm a little bit under the sun? What, what do you think about that, huh? Well, I don't know. I don't have a foreign passport, and it's somewhat expensive. Well, a passport isn't a problem. We make it in three days, and money is just money. Listen, Boris, I work for you. If I have to go, I'll go. But I want you to understand, I'll only go there as Olya's nanny, or I won't go there at all. Of course, as a nanny. Did it seem like I was offering something else? Let's go for a walk. Uh, 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 are you going far? Not very far, and definitely not for very long. Uh, all right then. <sighs> Hello, yeah. I'm home, of course. Crashed at how? The new one. Mother's gonna kill you. <laughs> I see that. Of course. Lend you. All right, come over. I said come right now. Goodbye. Leia, where are you going after the army? I'll go home, then to St. Petersburg. I'll apply for the naval school. I've never been to St. Petersburg. Is it beautiful? It's awesome. Why are you sweet-talking me? What did you want to ask? What do you think? Will it be okay if I go to the city and look for who she found there? Or is that a complete bust? It means you have no respect for yourself. Are your parents friends? They are, so what? They're friends, and they don't tell you anything. I think that they pity me. 
You're a fool, Maximov. Pity, don't pity. You'll go back and they'll pour it all on you. And then you'll see. Perhaps she's already a mother. Hmm? Uh-huh. Right. A baby. Hmm. In three months. Actually, you're right. It'll be clear at home. You know what? I'll go to St. Petersburg. I have nothing and no one to lose now. You keep stealing from your mom? Fine, I'll give it to you. You should have gone to Yale already. Your mom would have had one trouble less. Uncle Boris, come on, don't give me a lecture now. Where's my beautiful niece? Here you go. Mm. Thank you. Oh, yeah, out walking with her new nanny. She's such a good girl. She's a real find. Well, that's interesting. Uh-huh. I didn't know what I was going to do without Miss Semyonova. It's as if God saved me. A nice girl, you say. How long has she been here? Mm, well, for about a month. All right, Uncle Boris, why are you looking like that? You planning to get married? Why get married? I'm just saying she's a nice girl, you know. She's well-spoken, and she's also now, notable. Don't give me that. Tell me, is she pretty? Well... Well, is she pretty or not? I like her. Look, there she is. She's beautiful. Is that her there? Yes, Katya. <laughs> well, Uncle Boris, this is a surprise. I know her name is Katya Levashova, am I right? Right, Levashova. My former classmate. I didn't know you used to study together. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Olia, quietly go to your room, otherwise there'll be no surprise. What kind of surprise? Shh. I'll tell you about it later. My congratulations, Uncle Boris. You're so screwed. Do you even realize whom you let near your house? To a child? She's been with all the men in my course. Half of the boys had to get treatments. I'll show you all the photos. Yeah, Uncle Boris. Katya, Olya, get back home right now. Where have you been? Where's Katya? But she left. Left how? Where to? It's a surprise. Ah, come to me. Oh. Here you go. Katya, how did this happen? I couldn't even imagine that you would skip classes and end up failing the school semester. I don't recognize you. Can you tell me exactly what happened? Mom, I don't even understand what happened. I, I just felt apathy, anxiety, depression of some sort. I just wanted to come home. Well, perhaps you could try again. Take an academic leave for a semester or something. Something can be done, right? Do you want me to come to the university and talk to the principal? Mom, I don't need anything. I'll just go to the farm tomorrow, get a job, and... 
Well, not everyone goes to university, Mom. Well, of course. You're right. Let's go to the farm with your honorary certificate. That's right. Wonderful. And the fact that I've been scrounging money for half a year and sending it to you doesn't matter now, all right? Get a charwoman's job at the plant. How would I tell your father about that when the time comes? Mom, take this, please. This is all I've managed to save. I've also earned a little. I washed floors at university. Have you discussed it with Yurka, at least? Mom, Yurka and I are over. Katya, how come? That's impossible. Darling, can you explain to me what happened? It's possible, Mom. I stopped loving him. I'm sorry, my darling. Forgive me. To hell with it. The farm it is then will make it right, okay? Are you home for vacation? I'm home forever. What do you mean? I don't get it. I left the university. I'm going to your father's farm to get a job. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Does Yurka know? Natasha, I need to talk to you. All right, let's go. My dad isn't home yet. Natasha, I need your help. Tell me. I would like to check myself for an STD. Without the entire village knowing about it. What happened? Did someone rape you? Just calm down. <sighs> yes, something happened. I was hanging out with Artem and Barashev one night, and they got me drunk, and then they raped me. I don't remember anything. I was unconscious. They uploaded photos to the internet and saying they caught something. Have you seen the doctor? No, I was afraid. I didn't know what to do. Hmm. What kind of people are they? They're animals. Natasha, how do I live now, huh? I'd kill myself, but I'd feel sorry for my mom. She couldn't handle it. What are you thinking about? Are you out of your mind? This can be easily fixed today. I'll go into the city tomorrow, and we'll check it. Quietly, no one will know. You understand? Even if you're sick, it's not a death sentence. There is nothing at all, perhaps. What did you tell Yurka? That I don't love him anymore, and that I met somebody else. Stupid girl. Natasha, are you going to the city? Of course. Look, can you get my ring? Yurka gave it to me, and I forgot it, please. Of course I can do it. Tell me the address. Don't do anything stupid, okay? Dad? What kind of man does this? He went and left the window open. you come to see us? I didn't have time yet. I just got back. Come to visit then? Yes, of course. Sure. Yurka's coming to visit us soon, on holiday. Are you staying or going to study? I'm staying for now, I guess. Wonderful! Come to visit us then!
Caught you. I can hire you as a record keeper. Don't worry, everything's gonna be all right. I really just need some money. What about your studies? I took a sabbatical for a year. All right, I see. You can start, start tomorrow, here. Here, read the job duties and instructions. Oh, perform works on different types of operative accounting of the volume of finished goods and consumption of raw materials, fuel and energy consumed during production, main accounting function, make entries into primary documents, material orders, and cash receipts and requisitions. Everything's clear. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. I can find Artem Rokotov or Barashev? Well, Artem Rokotov's not here. He's sick. Uh, Barashev, he's over there. We'll see. At the moment, I need him. It's a pity. Are you Barashev? That's me. What's the matter? Is this your work? <laughs> Did you see it? All right, listen to me. I'm the detective assigned to work on Ekaterina Levashova's case. She's filed a complaint about gang rape. Since you're the only one of the three bastards who uploaded the photos, you'll be prosecuted as the organizer of a criminal collusion. You'll serve a hundred years, I promise. Who took the photos? Uh, what organizer? What rape? What is she talking about? Ask Zana Agarova. She'll confirm everything. She took the pictures. I... They only invited me there in the end, you see? Mm-hmm. I, I, I didn't rape anyone, I swear it. Uh -huh. They were... They said... Look me in the eye. Who are they? Who's Agarova? She and Artem Rogatov came up with all that. It was a joke, do you see? Just a joke. It was just for fun. Rogatov made a bet for it on Levashova. Levashova was drunk. She was lying there as if she were dead, and everyone took turns lying down next to her. All right, you're going to repeat that during interrogation. So are you trying to tell me that there was no gang rape of Katya Levashova? I didn't rape anyone, I swear. Who knew that country girl would react like this? Uh, Katya Levashova, I mean. Where's Egorova? She's here. Let me show you where. Barashev, you're free for now. Egorova? Who wants to know? All right, then. First, we're going to have an unofficial conversation. Then you're going to testify as per the protocol. First, as a witness. Then we'll try you as an accomplice. Are these the phone numbers of your parents? No, please, don't call my parents. It was all Artem. He made a bet on Katya, that's all. Who is the instigator of sexual violence towards Katya Levashova? Hold on, what violence? There was no violence. There was nothing at all. They all got her into bed and I took the photos. It was all a joke. Okay then. You'll have to repeat everything you've just said for the recorder. All right. I'll deal with your Artem Rokotov later.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is Boris Anatolyevich home? Yeah, good morning. I'm Boris. How can I help you? Um, uh, may I come in? Yeah, sure. Come on in. <laughs> Thank you. I'm listening. Uh, I'm a close friend of Katya Levashova's. She asked me to swing by this place for her and pick up the ring that she said she had left here. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, it's a family relic and it means very much to her. Mm. Can I have it? Maria Petrovna. Maria, get down here. Uh, you found the ring of the previous nanny in the room. Bring it here, please, now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna tell you something before I give you this ring. Tell me. What's your name? Natasha. Natasha, please tell me how could your friend having a venereal disease stay in the same house with a small child, huh? How could she, huh? Talk to her every day, put her to bed. What am I supposed to do now? Katya has never had a venereal disease. I have information that she had it. That she did God knows what in university. Do you have information that she nearly took her own life? She thought her course mates raped her. Is that all right with you? Frankly speaking, I'm surprised that you even know of this history. Perhaps it's a good thing. I'll give you something to listen to. I'm sure that you're going to like it. Artem, go get the door. Uncle Boris? Oh. Boris, are you out of your mind? I'll show you who's out of whose mind. I'll nail your balls to the wall. Oh! Oh. Artem, what has he done to you? Boris, you jackass, what have you done? Why did you hit me? Am I a jackass oh. now? You've raised a jackass. Come on, tell your mother how you nearly made a person take their own life with your jokes. He should be in prison, Rima. I'm hearing a lot of noise, but where's the fight? <clears throat> Look what he's done to Artem, you jackass. Are you drunk, Boris? No, I'm not drunk. Are you going to stand in the hallway all day? Come in, would you? then tell me about it I don't know how they could have done it how'd they have the conscience to do it so Nikolai it's your call what to do he's your son Artem Rima come here sit down with me why don't you have a seat both of you while we're at this. Settle in, my darlings, and just listen to me. You'll talk when I finish. When I tell you to talk. All right, Artem, I've been thinking and I've come to a decision. You'll have time to study at Yale or wherever you want. But first, you need to become a human being. Your mother and I somehow forgot about it. That's all right. We'll send you in the army now. A call-in has just started. They will knock some sense into you. I'll see to it. That's it. This problem is solved and not up for discussion. Nikolai! Rima, my beautiful wife, let's save the tears, okay? You'll thank me and Boris a thousand times over that we didn't let the boy become a complete scumbag. And tell me the names of all your friends, okay? Since you're not an adult enough for school, you'll get the army. Why are you looking at her at ease? I've made the call. Artem, wait up. What do you want? What's with the detective? We're not guilty of anything. They got me regardless of whether or not we're guilty. Got you? Where? How could they? They couldn't, but my dad could. 
I'll be marching in the army like all the other morons now. Perhaps that's not the worst. I'll be coming to visit you. And why would you do that? So I can be waiting for you. I love you. You what now? I love you. Zana. Screw you. Why are you telling me about love? What could you possibly know about love? You're like so many others. I'll fake. Actually, you know what? Get away. You disgust me. Oh, Yurka. On a short leave home? Yeah, they gave me a couple of spare days. Got it, soldier. Are we celebrating tonight? Of course. Hello, Yurka. Welcome home. Hold up a sec. Don't you want to tell me anything? I've already said everything. I'm sorry. Are you here alone or with your new man? Alone, Yurka. I should go. Excuse me. All right, Katya. My parents didn't tell me anything bad about you. That is, they didn't know anything. Let's do this. In a way, we won't ruin their day. I'll tell them everything later. My mom knows everything. She won't come. I'm going to talk to Valentina on my own. She's a good person. She'll understand. Yurka, wait up! Mishka, the last spoonful, eat it for your mom. Yeah. Hello, Katya. Hello, Olia. All right, Mishka, this is Olia. Olia, this is Mishka. Mishka, will you show me all your cool toys? Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Mr. Boris. Hello, Katya. I came to say that I'm sorry. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. <laughs> Looks like your brother has already found his future bride. With a large dowry, by the way. I'm the only smart and pretty one that no one needs and is all alone. What's going on here? Mom, uh, this is Boris Anatolyevich. He helped me a lot. Hello there. I'm Boris. Valentina, nice to meet you. What perfect timing. I've just made a bunt cake. <gasps> oh, <laughs> excuse me. It's mine. Yeah. yeah, hold on a second, please. Yurka's here. Do you know that? And we're going to go and say hello to him. No, Natasha, I won't go. It would be awkward. Hold on. Just a second. Come. Valentina, do you understand that Yurka's family doesn't know anything, and if we go there now, they will stay uninformed? It's youth, perhaps, but can you put aside your principles just this once? Natasha, you're beating around the bush. All right. Let's go, Katya. Now there's use for the cake. All right, calm down. Trust me and everything will be all right. Oh, wow. What beautiful company. <laughs> the soldier will be glad to see you, especially some of you. Dad, don't embarrass Katya. Uh, don't be afraid. It's all going to be well, you'll see. Let me smell your breath. Sergey, I really don't know where it is. I just can't find it. Tatiana, you know that I always put everything back in the same place. I'm oh. Tatiana. We've brought some guests. Tatiana, hello. All right, I just need a second. Uh, Tatiana, thank I'm you. I'm already ready. Hello. Here you go. Oh. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the soldier? He's not been himself the entire day. He's been sitting here silent. I asked him, why are you sitting here silent? Why don't you go to Katya? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Didn't he come to see you? Oh, this is not good. I shouldn't have. Shouldn't have done what? 
Shouldn't have done what, Dad? Natasha, I heard your conversation. I... I wanted to help. It's tough for the guys. I thought he should deal with it like a man, so that everything would be good. What are you talking about? Do you know what you've done? What do you even know about it, Dad? Do you understand where to look for him now? <laughs> He'll be back soon. Now, what's the problem? I can't believe it. I always put it in the same place, as if a ghost stole it. The black-handled knife. It's gone now. Where could it be? Like a man, isn't that right, Dad? Uh, who knew it would be like this? Yurka. I'll go get him. Stop it! <sighs> Where's the ring? Here it is. I told you all that everything will work out. So did I. <laughs> Don't take it off anymore. <laughs> 